all right good morning good afternoon good evening this is the end time to television channel we urge you to subscribe to the channel activate the bell icon by selecting all so that the next time we upload the new video you will be among the first persons to be notified by google i'll be seeing you in the next video till then shalom good morning good afternoon good evening god bless you thank you so so much i want to use this opportunity to appreciate those of you that have been very wonderfully and supportive uh this season that uh you know some ugly news have been trending and uh, unfortunately some persons wouldn't want us to air our opinion yeah i appreciate every one of you and uh, thank you so much and uh I expect also bashing from this video that I want to do, but um, I wish that even if it is one person that I'm able to convince that wickedness does not pay, that it is nobody can fight for God. Nobody on earth can fight for God. For example, if you're a follower of TB Joshua and meanwhile, I'm not talking of TB Joshua today, but I want to tell you something if you're a follower of tb joshua or a follower of buchiri follower of alf lukau follower of j israel or moto fufain joshua iginla um suleiman what have you you are a follower of these persons and somehow somebody spoke about them in bad light in the way you don't like and you think that you can defend them you think that if god has called them that that god does not have enough power to defend his name in their lives and so you think god will enlist you to be the one that will fight for them my friend you are lost because i tell you something you will just be busy gallivanting all over the social media abusing people and attacking people and leave out the necessary things of life that you ought to do in order to build your spirit waiting for the coming of the antichrist if you are a christian maybe your pastor has not told you that the antichrist is coming and that this is the time that you have to pray and fast and study the scriptures and follow the path of truth many of you are so hypocritical uh, stop this thing preach the word of god yes we will preach that word of god you will not wash now when you see a caption that has to do with gossip you will just run to the same thing that you say don't don't do don't do this one don't do that one i mean you know so um those of you who are fighting for god you want to defend god and you think that you can defend god with foul language you think you can defend God with being abusive. You think you can defend God with the gutter language that God doesn't know you. Remember Jesus said he would tell some persons, depart from me for I never knew you. On the day of judgment, on the last day, you will be surprised that some of those things that you saw and you thought that you knew that you're man of God enough, you will be surprised because the day of resurrection, the day of judgment, the day of rapture, as well as, you know, the day of the white throne judgment will be a day of many surprises. You know, that day you may, you know, uh, realize that you had gone to hell because of a man that you are not supposed to defend in the first place. You don't know anybody, even if you know anybody enough, you, even if that person is your father, you don't know him enough. It is only God that knows the person enough. May I tell you something? No man knows any man enough except God and the man himself. And unfortunately, no man is ready to tell you enough of himself. He knows himself. And no man is ready to tell you everything about himself. So grow and be wise. I've spoken enough on this. Now, why I say this is that J. Israel made a post. You know, um, I will call it cryptic because it was so um, unexpected. And uh, I, I will stop it there. Uh, there was a video uh, that he used. That video, uh, I was the one that caught that video from his message and I uploaded. And some persons watched the video and some are so so heartless that 
they leave out the main message that that video is passing and you know they are like if you want to die die quick now so recently i think he got uh you know hold of that video he saw it and you know uh she posted it on his facebook page and one hour later he did a follow-up that you know that looked like a kind of a, a suicide note now it was gctv that you know broadcasted that first that i saw i woke up close to midnight you know um and i i opened my phone and i saw his title it was like did j israel commit suicide my god i opened the video and i saw that jctv was also concerned his face showed you know that uh concern you know whatever that is how you know people who have good heart you know yeah j may have done some things that you may not uh, completely explain why uh, he, he did those things that he did but this guy was not out there to bash j israel and i don't think he did not do that video because he needed viewership he was concerned and he was calling on those who are close to j enough to find out what has happened and so i couldn't watch i barely watched the beginning of the video and i dropped it i came to his page and i saw that thing and so now why i'm doing this is that i saw people who are heartless I saw even pastors, I even saw reverend who are instead of trying to see how this young boy, this young man can be helped if there was still hope or any chance for him to be helped. I saw people asking him to die quick and leave the surface of the earth. And so while I was going through this, man, I broke down in tears and I cried because i don't know when christianity has become what it what it is today i don't know when people have become so heartless that they find it so difficult to forgive let me tell you something whatever you like you can say about me whatever you, you like you can you can call me a slave to j israel that is your business that's your problem i've made it clear here that i am i am just doing following my conscience and i follow my heart and I tell you the truth. If you like, take the truth. If you don't like, leave it. Leave it. You know. Now, yeah, J. Israel last year, late last year, made his mistakes, which every one of us do make mistake. He made his mistake, and it was open because he has become a public figure. Many of us are not known, and we, may, some of us, had done things that are worse than what J. Israel had done, and nobody saw it. Nobody knew it and we have been able to cover it up let me even ask you you that impregnated a girl and aborted the child what think that what the, you know what, what makes you think you're better than j israel yeah i'm asking you that in the place where you are working you connived with others and stole from the company what made you think you are better than j israel because he wanted to to you know join blessing mashangwa and expose emmanuel makandiwa in a wrong way what makes you think that you are better? You, you that, you know, were manipulated, received in the office. You local government worker, government worker that will use pen to steal. What makes you think you are better than J. Israel? And you are in the church and you will do all these wicked things and then we package your offering and ties that tight and go and give your pastor, you know, from the, pro, from the proceeds of error and wickedness. So what makes you think you have the right to judge J. Israel or makes you think that you he cannot be forgiven? What what makes you what makes you think that? You know, whatever J did, whatever error he you know he he went into, yeah, I'm not here to say that he was right, but you don't have the right to hold it against anybody. Listen, he has made his mistakes and he came out, he said. He was sorry. He re realized his mistake. Now, so many of us are so are so devilish in the heart that you want you want to you want to determine for God who has truly repented and who has not truly repented. Listen to me. The truth remains that what J. Israel did, I don't know 
any of you that can do what he did. I don't, I don't know any of you that can that that was as popular as Jay Israel was, that was enjoying life the way he was enjoying life, living living the life of of a a prince that he was living, the life of affluence that he had everything, you know. Um, and then suddenly, suddenly he just decided against all odds to to turn against everything that he has known to turn against everything that he has been taught to turn against everybody that has traveled along that path of darkness with him he just decided to turn against him now i find it difficult to understand why anybody would think that he came out to say those things in order to rebrand himself and be begin to do people was he complaining when he was doing those things that it was not paying enough was he complaining when he was charging one-on-one -on -one money that he was not paid enough was he ever complaining that when he was doing fake and false miracles that those things were, were not paying him enough he never complained to anybody so why would you think that he he had to do what he did in in order to attract more my friend i think it was even easier him remaining in that place now so i I'd like you to understand that except you don't have a heart except you don't have a mind, a mind to understand that a person who did such thing will at some point in his life you know if he is not given the right kind of re relationship that he will at some point begin to regret why did i do this and meanwhile what he did was marvelous what he did was great yeah if you ask me what he did was wonderful that campaign he did i had said earlier on in some of my videos i agree he may have made some mistakes in the process that if given the opportunity again today he probably would not do it this exactly the same way he did it but that does not take anything away from what j israel did and so when i saw people you know posting things writing comments of wickedness and heartlessness you know over such 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 a, a, a dangerous post now when you even when you think he was seeking attention i want to ask what if if what he, he tried to do was to find out the opinion of people about him because you don't know you don't know how how hardly hit he was for him to have made that post the other one he made earlier and one hour later he posted the other one in the night that shows you that that guy was not sleeping and i know a lot of you will come and conclude that it was because of the demons that he said you know were, were troubling him that that was why he was not sleeping now i want you to understand that depression is real depression is real depression is real forget about some of the things that he did the postings he, he he did if only you know the truth you will find you will find out that that young man has need of help now even if you think that yeah he, he spoke about your pastor in 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 bad light that he didn't represent your pastor very well i want to ask you when has your pastor become the 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 symbol of salvation when has your pastor become the the symbol of 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 the church your pastor is not the symbol of the church your pastor at at most can be called an ambassador you are an ambassador I'm an ambassador of, of christ jesus so your pastor is not the icon of the church he is just part of the member of the church of the body of christ so if somebody has spoken about him in bad light now you are, you didn't call him you didn't call that person you didn't call that your pastor allow the one that called him to defend him because you cannot fight a battle for god who are you so let us let us for christ's sake become christians you know i i i i may not say too much here because saying so much may be like jay has spoken i've not spoken with jay but i know that jay is depressed i know that it is not easy to go through this path you know somebody that was acceptable to so many of these false prophets my friend i call them false prophets because we have been able to prove to see those that are capturing people on i on ipad walking on air you know those that are doing pamela why and what have you you know those that are doing joy why we know those falsehood we understand those falsehood 
So, so and and this was a guy that was a darling to in the majority of them. He was approved by them. He was loved by them. He was popular amongst them. One of the one that would anoint women private party will anoint his own private organ first and insert it in in. I mean, but uh, you you, my God, how can how can you be so blinded to remember that that in your own eye, a prophet was healing people by kissing them. In your own eyes, you have seen a prophet using telephone to call heaven. In your own eyes, a prophet captured the face of a baby on an iPad. In your own eyes, angels were captured on camera. When has angels become physical beings that camera can can capture? In your own eyes, you know people are are, are you know um, bringing fire, fire from charms in the church. In your own eyes. And these things were some of the things that this young man exposed. You never knew them before. But instead of you to sit down and analyze some of these things that he said, all that you are interested in is let him die fast and go. And the comments of some of you would have been enough to send J. Israel to his early grave because he also could have, you know, read those posts and would have ended it. But thank God that eventually we saw people who have good heart, who came on and, you know, some were able to point out to him his mistakes or told him that life does not end there. I want to tell you, Israel, that, you know, evils make a lot of noise. Evil is so vocal. You know, if you if you understand if you can hear me if you are listening if you ever ever if ever you watch this video i want you to understand that the devil will be whispering to your head that you are hated now by everybody that is not true those that love you are much more than those that hate you those that those that appreciate you even with your errors and mistakes so long as you have dusted yourself up and you are you are you are you know you have come out from from the mire that you know you fell into and you are in the struggle to please god not to live to dwell in the flesh again there are people who are loving you and are not judging you so i want you to understand i was trying to do a permutation i was trying to do a you know so some kind of of uh, calculation i remember that jay i'm talking to you ever if ever you watch this video i remember that your youtube channel before charlatans edited its uh deletion from youtube that you had over 100,000 followers. And I'm sure that that channel, you know, had over, over 2 million views, you know, within the time you began your campaign. And out of these 2 million, maybe 500,000 spoke against you there. What about the 1.5 million that, that, you know, out of them as well, you may have about 700,000 that, that did their, uh, that did put their, their 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 comment and approved and appreciated what you did now if you have that you may have about about eight hundred thousand others that may be neutral some also you may find those that don't believe and those that agree with you so when you look at it and you 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 know you 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 are uh, equated very well you understand that those that love you are much more than those that hate you and besides you don't even need the love of a man i know i can understand that sometimes we want to feel loved we want to hear from people that we you know uh that that we are loved but even if these things don't come please don't ever try to um base your your life on the opinion of people the opinion of people can drain you people opinion can take you downward and is there anybody here that is going through this kind of of time time of depression time of pain time of loneliness please i like you to hold fast onto jesus others may forsake you but jesus will never forsake you others may give up on you but jesus will never give up on you i tell you no 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 jesus he will never give up up on you so to those of us that are soldiers going from one social media a platform to the other looking for those you will attack and condemn and which heaven are you even talking about what heaven heaven of bitterness heaven with wicked heart heaven that that your heart is not even sanctified they they, they have what heaven are you talking about and this is pure example of who is mentoring you 
because if your your so-called pastor is telling you the truth about you know the heart that there is what is referred to as the fruit of the spirit then you will understand that bitterness is not part of the fruit of the spirit that that you know contention strife you know uh, 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 reveling emulation is not part of the fruit of the spirit the fruit of the spirit has in in it gentleness meekness love joy hope temperance now these are these are uh, you know uh, components of the fruit of the spirit and i will enjoy every christian every child of god to pray in the fruit of the spirit for it is the fruit of the spirit that takes us to life in eternity if we don't have the fruit it will be very very difficult for us to make it there i'll be leaving you here and i wait for your attacks god bless you uh i'll be seeing you in the next video till then shalom <laughs>